welcome back. I made it to Trader Joe's. I mentioned on my last haul that I was gonna swing by there if I could this week, and I did. And I got my hands on some new items. It cracks me up, they still have some of the like holiday bags left, but whatever. I did find some new items, my friends, and I definitely wanted to share them with you. Now, here's the thing, I mentioned it. I found it, I did. Uh. <laughs> You guys know I am not a big fan of fish. I never was at all. But this is one of the newest items there, the battered plant-based fish fillets. I have heard such mixed things on these. I really have. Now, of course, at checkout, they're always so friendly. And when they scanned this, she was like, my good friend is vegan. And I was like, oh yeah. And she, she said that she tried these and she loved them. She said the texture was great. And I'm like, okay, cool. I will give that feedback but I also got a message on Instagram just last night from one of you <laughs> saying you tried them and you were having a hard time like um of it not coming back up because it was that bad I'm like great <laughs> I have just heard overall that it really is kind of hit and miss for people. And I mentioned on the last haul that I did from Walmart, when I had heard about them, I was talking about the protein in them. So one filet, we'll check them out, see what they look like, is only four grams of protein. And that's not like the end of the world, it's not. But typically when we go to some of these like mock meats and stuff, whether it's fish or not, we kind of like to at least get our protein up. Why not, you know? So that was a little bit of a let down for many people. Again, this was feedback that I was seeing, but let me just give you the macros real quick here. Three servings per container in here. Again, one filet is what the macros are. 190 calories, 11 grams of fat, 420 grams of uh, milligrams of sodium, just if you're interested in that one. Carbs, 19, six fiber, and again, four grams of protein. So here's the deal. I don't do fish. I just don't, I never did. But they're gluten-free too. They're kind of green. I mean, they're pretty good size, I will say that. There's literally three in here, because again, it's just one is a serving. They have like a green hue. Some people say that they don't really taste fishy. So, hold on. You know what the smell is just giving me is tempura. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on the big girl pants and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Let's do this. Okay, in the air fryer and then we'll go through the rest of the stuff while this cooks up. Ten to twelve minutes. Air fryer, four hundred degrees. Okay. Huh. I have the receipt in here. These are four ninety nine, so they're not the cheapest. Uh, but also kind of what you expect. I think a lot of the meats and stuff like that, the fake out ones from Trader Joe's are usually around that price point. Speaking of that, some of this stuff isn't new and just things I need to get my hands back on like these. If you caught my last vlog, the kiddo tried out and I did the spicy version and you know, they're good, but they are spicy. They are. And he's like, um, where's my originals? <laughs> now these have been kind of hard to find recently. And luckily Trader Joe's had them back. And these are still at Trader Joe's for $6.99. Now I was also going to try to get my hands since I was in there on the uh, beefless bulgogi. Was not there again, my friends. Was not there. When I did go the last time, the last time or the time before, it was I stocked up on like four boxes. I'm completely out, and they had them. They had a good amount, and now I did not even see a tag. But this has happened before, so huh, I hope it comes back and I will stock up again, even probably more. But those ones are like four ninety nine, I believe, too. Four forty nine or four ninety nine. They're amazing. Get your hands on them if you do see them. This is another new item. Sorry, these bags are kind of obnoxious. The non-dairy oat beverage, which they've had now for months and months, but the unsweetened vanilla version. I'm excited to try this. I have high hopes. I think it'll be all right. Zero sugar, 60 calories for one cup, which is less than most oat milk, I will say that. Three and a half grams of fat, uh, five carbs, three from fiber, one gram of protein. I don't know, we'll see. 
I think it'll be good. I do. And on that same kick, this is also not another new item, but Nate's been loving this recently in his coffee, the non-dairy oat creamer uh, with the brown sugar. This is $1.99. It's been out for a long time. And the oat beverage is $3.99, which I, again, I believe is the same cost. Maybe the original is like $3.69 and this one's $3.99, or they're both $3.99 can't remember off the top of my head, but they're close. So most Trader Joe's, of course, when you go in, all of them are a little bit different in how they like display things, but there's usually on an end cap of one of the aisles that has like the new items section. It'll even say new items, new arrivals, something like that. And I happen to come upon this right here, and I don't feel like I've seen anybody talk about this. And I'm wondering if it's like really, really brand new. I don't know. They did recently launch a gluten-free new bread. I touched it, my friends. Now people are saying that it's really good, but it does have egg in it, so it's not vegan. But I touched it and it felt hard as a rock. Now it also felt cold. So they probably just pulled it out of the, like the refrigerator to stock it, so I will give it that. But I was not super impressed with the way that it felt. <laughs> I really wasn't and the slices seemed really really small, but I have heard good things But that was the only thing new for bread that I had really heard about for Trader Joe's having so I was not expecting to find this now on the ingredients here The only thing that kind of stood out to me that could have been like oh Does this make it not vegan or not is uh, it does say in parentheses to the first ingredient absorbic acid is dough conditioner so the good news is with this, sometimes dough conditioner is not technically vegan. I did not know this, but apparently that is the case. But because this is in parentheses, right next to that absorbic acid, which is what it is saying is the dough conditioner, that actually is vegan friendly. So I think we are good to go. Now this doesn't say vegan, but I think we're good. But here's the deal. This feels so soft and two slices, and the slices aren't massive, but they're not tiny, uh, is 60 calories, three grams of fat, 21 carbs, 18 from fiber, and six grams of protein. Now, this kind of reminds me of two things. You guys are probably already like, yep, that. I recently got that, like, what was the brand? Timberwolf, was that what it was? I could be making that up. From Costco, I got like the double pack of like that bread. It's reminding me of that. Although I think this is even a little bit lower in calories and the better bagel kind of similar again the fiber is pretty high now luckily i did not have any problems myself having that but sometimes that can be like too much for some people and i totally get it i will let you know this was like i said on an end cap just on like not in the refrigerated section and stuff on that sliced bread that we did get from uh, costco I should have known better. Most of the time things like this, uh, you want to keep in your freezer or your fridge and it'll last longer. We only got through one loaf out of that actually because we went in for the second one and it, it, it had turned and we're like, oh no. But usually these types of things, that's what you need to do. So that was our bad. Just throwing that out there. But uh, this is made primarily from water, oat fiber, resistant wheat starch and wheat gluten soybean oil, inulin, sunflower seeds, ground flax seed, wheat protein isolate, calcium sulfate, salt, enzymes, yeast. It's very, very similar, it sounds like, to, again, like the better bagel and that other one. I wanna try it. I wanna show it to you up close, too. I was a fan of both of those as far as the flavor goes. I just told you guys that it's a little bit chewy, but I mean, like, it's like that from Costco. But I, I wasn't mad at it, you know, like it was still good. It's very, very soft. It just, yeah, couldn't have a little chewiness to it. It's good. I like it. It's like identical. Cool. Another new item. This just launched too. The Sweet and Salty Umami Crunchies Rice Crackers. Again, at checkout, she said, that she tried these and she said they were really, really good. It's made with rice, rice oil, soy sauce, sugar, modified tapioca starch. That is it. I'm trying to, hmm. I don't know how to describe the smell. They don't smell bad, but they do smell kind of like sweet, but yet soy saucy. But I guess that makes sense. Kind of, they look like little mini tater, like smashed tater tots. <laughs> they do. Can, can you see that? Can, can you? Can you? 
I'm gonna bit my lip. Everything's fine. Well, they're good. Mmm. They're reminding me of something. You know what? They kind of like, maybe I'm starting to smell that a little bit. I will say I'm not smelling fishiness. I'm not. They kind of remind me of like a tempura batter flavor. Oh, good. Mmm. Okay. I'd get them again. Not new, but I refuse to run out. Uh, some more just popping popcorn when we make it fresh. And then, you can't see me like really up close, but it's bad. I look like a lizard right now. I really do. It, it, is, it is bad. So this has actually been brought back to Trader Joe's, so it's kind of new again, but it has been out before, the Brazil Nut Body Scrub. Now, all of Trader Joe's is, uh, beauty products are not tested on animals, but certain ones are technically not vegan. Now, I did a quick little Google search because I was not 100% sure off the top of my head, and it appears we are good to go on this one. But just keep that in mind for uh, all the beauty products. Not all of them are. Let's, let's smell it. Oh, oh, it smells wonderful. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh man, okay, I don't know why I sat on that, but <laughs> for so long when it was out before, I've heard really, really good things about it. It's $5.99 and people are excited to see it back. So I grabbed that. Now this, again, not new, but kind of again to me, because it's been gone, my friends, like so two bags. The Rosemary Croissant Croutons, the Flaky Croissant Chunks. They're amazing. Like, they're the best crouton I've ever had. Amazing. When they first launched, this was probably like I, sometime last year, maybe even like the beginning part, they got a little confusing for people because they were not vegan when they first launched them. Then they pulled them. They repackaged it, but the packaging still looked almost identical, but they did add a vegan label to it because they did modify it. And I think they just used a plant-based butter, like it does even say on here, that they weren't using before to make it vegan. And it is so delicious. It truly tastes like croissant croutons. Incredible. But they've been gone for months, my friends. So I saw them. I grabbed them. Yes, I did. All right, the last two, and I, I got inspired when I saw the croutons, and I'm gonna make a salad here for lunch. And I love to have my salads with sunflower seeds, and they're a great price at Trader Joe's. It's like $1.99, I think it is. Well, they're $2.99 now, but I swore they were $1.99 once upon a time. But even still, really, really good price. I like that they have the roasted and unsalted ones, but they also have raw ones, I think and because I know they have raw pumpkin seeds, but they also even have like salted ones too. I just love the options that like Trader Joe's has. Anyway, got those because I love mama salads. I just do. Last one I found, and then we'll try the fish, is the coconut flavored almonds. Again, not labeled, these look so good, as vegan, but I think we're good. I think the ingredients here, almonds, cane sugar, desiccated, I'll tell you in a second, coconut, brown cane sugar, corn syrup, salt, natural flavors. Sometimes natural flavors is um, not always vegan, but a lot of the times that it is, it's totally up to you what you wanna do as far as getting that or not. If that is a listed ingredient, it's not typically something I really worry about. Most of the time you're in the clear, but again, I'm not gonna say 100%. They look really good, but desiccated i don't ever see that word like used and it just reminds me of miss congeniality when he's sitting across from her at the table and she's just munching away and he's like i'm sorry i didn't hear over that half masticated whatever and i just that's what it reminded me of anyway let's try these let's do it oh man they coated i think we're good Mm, it's like crystallized coconut on an almond. Kind of even gives like a chocolatey vibe. Or no, toffee. That's done. 
Those are incredible. Those are problematic. That was like toffee. Oh man. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna hide these. Don't tell me. Put these on my side of the bed. Yeah, I, I will say it is not smelling fishy. It's really not. I don't do fish. It's made mostly with, um, which also is not for me, but uh, made mostly with jackfruit and then oyster mushrooms, which I do see what you would try to do with that and make it kind of this meaty-ish texture. But I don't like mushrooms. I'm terrible vegan. I'm terrible at it. I mean, it doesn't smell fishy. Do it. It's not fishy. It's not fishy. Am I a little bored with it? Yes. I don't feel like it has much flavor at all. Like the flakiness on the outside is basically the flavor. And it's not bad, but it's kind of still bare minimum. But look, I'm eating it. I feel like, I mean, you saw, it's not fishy. Great for me, but I feel like if you were wanting that and into that, you're going to be disappointed. You know what I mean? It's boring. I'm not repulsed. It's not terrible. It's boring. There's nothing to it. I can't even tell you, like, what does it really taste like? Not much of anything. Bring back the beefless bulgogi. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought I would share this quick little fill-in new finds with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys! You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we...